So who makes the best torque screwdriver or torque sticks? Let's go ahead and take a look at each of these. Then we'll get them on the tester and see how they perform. Coming in at the cheapest MSRP wise here is the Fix-It Sticks all-in-one torque driver. MSRP of $65. Made in Taiwan has a two-year warranty with a torque range of 15 to 65 inch-pounds. Real Avid here is next. MSRP of $80, three-year warranty, and is made in China. Comes in this nice case with 12 bits here. The tool has an additional handle to give you more leverage while torquing. The little handle can be used as a mini screwdriver as well. The top of the torque wrench spins so you can apply pressure while torquing. 10 to 70 inch pounds and the adjuster has single digit inch pound indication here in that small window. Wheeler Fat Sticks, MSRP of $100, comes in a nice case here. Lifetime warranty, made in China. Here we have 13 bits, counting the one that's actually in this half inch socket, and a extension, as well as this T-handle, which has a holding magnet inside. Limiters come in 15, 25, 35, 45, and 65. Capri, MSRP of $140. Comes in a bull molded case here. Comes with 20 bits and a T-handle. Has a one year warranty and is made in Taiwan. Has a locking bit holder here. Quarter inch drive on the back of the handle. So you can then use that T handle for additional leverage. 10 to 50 inch pounds torque rating. When individual inch pound ratings here on the handle. Fix it sticks. Nice little case here with Velcro on the opposite side. 16 bits, two year warranty, made in Taiwan. This kit comes with this ratcheting T-handle. Four fix-it sticks, 15, 25, 45, and 65. So here's the table here with all those specs with additionally the accuracy claimed. Uh, with the fix-it sticks all in one being plus or minus 10%. Uh, the real Avid, I could not find a claimed accuracy. Now the Wheeler Fat Sticks, 15 to 25 there plus or minus two inch pounds, and then the 35 to 65, plus or minus 5%. Capri, plus or minus 6%, and the individual fix-it sticks, plus or minus 6%. So we're gonna start with the all-in-one fix-it stick here at 15 inch pounds. You are gonna have to stop when it gets to that 15 indication. I did warm up cycle it, so we'll go ahead and see how it performs. So I'm gonna go ahead and audit each of these. I'm not gonna make you watch it all. Real Avid. At each torque setting, I'm gonna get three readings. Capri. Wheeler stick. Fix it stick. Now here's that data before a thousand cycles. Anything in green is under that claimed accuracy. Now it is a little more confusing at the bottom because I did do 50 and 65 and then 35, 45 and 65, of course, for those preset torque sticks. On here, you can see the deviation from setting or the accuracy that the tester is reading. And then below that, we do have the accuracy range because the tester is plus or minus 
All right, so I did a thousand cycles with each. Similar results after 1000 cycles here. But what's interesting here is that 15 inch pound fix it stick is now a little bit out of range coming in under the desired 15 inch pounds and above that plus or minus 6% in accuracy. But overall, just like before 1000 cycles, the Real Avid did extremely well. Now, if you're fine with that plus or minus 10%, this fix it stick all in one is a good option. Definitely for portability out on the range, or even if you're cycling something like that, it's small and light. And it gives you here 15 to 65 inch pounds. Now, again, that one drawback though, other than the accuracy, I would point out here is you have to line up the mark depending on what desired torque setting, as you can see here. Real Avid, again, I do like the case. You get those additional bits. Now the accuracy for the full range here is the best compared to the rest. I will say one thing though, there's no lock on the adjustment. So you may find yourself by accident adjusting that torque setting. But overall, it seems pretty good quality accuracy for the price. Same deal here with the Wheeler. Now the accuracy on the low end is not the greatest, but it's within their specs of plus or minus two inch pounds. But it is much more compact versus the real Avid there. Capri, I like the locking bit holder. I like that you can use a quarter inch drive on the back here. What I don't like is this grip, and I'm not a real big fan of this short 10 to 50 inch pound range. But overall, it did what it's supposed to with that plus or minus 6% accuracy. The fix -it sticks, definitely the most compact here, and I do like how much more compact they are compared to the Wheeler. And you'll notice quite a bit of difference in operation so with the wheeler here, it's almost an impact motion. Versus the fix it stick. Now again, one thing to note after that 1000 cycles though, this 15 inch pound one is slightly out of the claimed accuracy. So to me, I would put the Capri here last because of the actual cost of $140 MSRP. But again, overall, it is within the claimed accuracy. Now the rest I'd put in two different categories here. One if you're traveling and then the other if you're working in the shop. Now, if you're going to be using out on the range or cycling, really to me, it's going to come down to price here and how much weight you want to carry. With the lightest and the cheapest, with that all-in-one fix-it stick, with the wheeler coming in at one pound, 10 ounces for this kit versus the fix-it sticks here at about one pound. But there's quite a bit of price difference, almost double here for this fix-it stick set with the ratcheting T-handle versus the wheeler coming in at a hundred bucks. But overall, again, my pick's gonna be the real Avid. In a previous video, I did test the regular wheeler wrench here and the digital version plus the Quinn. So if you're looking for those, I will leave the link below. So I will be testing more torquing screwdrivers in the future like Vera and CDI. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.